Welcome back to Yes to Tesla. Today we're going to be talking about the Model Y. I personally own a Model Y 2023 all-wheel drive, long range, and I'm going to tell you this. As a owner, it literally has the worst turning radius I've ever dealt with in my life. I don't understand why, why they can't make it better. Now, I owned a Honda HRV, which is seven inches shorter than the uh, Model Y. And with them coming up with the Model Y L, which is probably not going to have any better turning radius, to be honest. Um, with the Model Y L, that one's six inches longer than this current Model Y that I have. So that means the turning radius is actually probably going to be worse than the original. Because when you spread things out a little bit, it kind of messes up the entire turning radius of your car the longer it is the more uh, le the less efficient your car is when it comes down to turning radius how this would stack against other cars out there that are similar in size as a compact suv essentially and what i've seen on here is actually amazing so we have the honda crv that has a turning diameter of 34.8 feet and then we have a ford escape 38.4 feet Hyundai, Hyundai Tucson, 38.6 feet, and Tesla Model Y at 39.8 feet. All that means is you're gonna get anywhere between a foot to a foot and a half more turning radius, which is a lot with the Honda CRV, which is essentially the same size. I think the CRV is actually a little bit bigger than the uh, Model Y, not by much, but like just a little bit bigger. But the turning radius is phenomenal compared to a Model Y, which is crazy because I'm like, you turn in that Model Y like you're turning a big truck. It's just weird how they wouldn't think to put the steer by wire on the new Model YL just to introduce the steer by wire to the rest of the fleet, especially because it's already on the Cybertruck, which is a bigger vehicle that they wanted to have really good turning radius on. But now it has too good of turning radius, which is basically beating the Model Y in turning radius, but it's also nearly two times the size. Make that make sense to me. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now let me show you what the turning radius between that and a Model X would be. So the Model X is about a foot longer and wider than the Model Y and significantly heavier. The Model Y feels like a compact mid-size crossover while the SU, uh, Model X is a full-size luxury SUV. Now this is where it's going to be and this is based off of the uh, update that they did in 2021 for the Model X and that is 38.7 which still has better turning radius than the Model Y. That makes no sense. It's a bigger vehicle. That doesn't make any sense for it to have better turning radius than the Model Y. For what? For what? <laughs> so that means the Model X is bigger, faster, more luxurious, and paradoxically, easier to maneuver in tight spaces thanks to real wheel, rear wheel steering but it's far more expensive. So you have rear wheel steering that you have with your Model X that you don't have with the Model Y. That's gonna be the difference. But the fact is, I'm like, why don't they just do it for the Model Y? The Model Y is literally their, their bread and butter. It Model Y and Model 3 are their bread and butter, but I'm pretty sure Model Y is like their real bread and butter because you get more space, you get efficiency, you get horrible turning radius. This car right here, it's it's pretty good. It's not bad with the turning radius. Let's, let's go ahead and see the Model Model 3. So the Model 3 is this much better. Literally this much better. And trust me, this much better is not as is, is better than not having it at all. So for me, I'm glad I have a little like, <laughs> like this much, bro. So the, the numbers on this one is 38.1 feet and on the Model 3 and then 39.8 feet on the Model Y. So it literally is slightly better, like inches better than the Model Y, which is crazy, which is insane. So they're basically the same when it comes down to turning radius. So it says Model 3 is sleek, fast, efficient, slightly cheaper, better handling and turning radius. Best if you want a sporty EV sedan with great range. The Model Y is roomier, taller seating, 
way more cargo space but bigger turning radius cycle uh, but bigger turning cycle and is less efficient best if you want practicality and SUV like versatility hold on they gotta plug, unplug the car before they start charging me because I definitely don't want to get charged uh, 50 cents per minute over here which is crazy but yeah so to me I was wondering about that because my 2023 that battery gets just just starts to run out pretty quickly and I was like dude is the battery going bad or something like that then I realized that no it's just because the efficiency on a Model Y is way different than the efficiency on the Model 3 which makes sense because it is a smaller car but what's the let me look that up too I get a I, I know I should have looked this all up before starting but look Model Y to Model X efficiency which one boom let's see which one is better or efficient I'm pretty sure the Model X is going to be the more efficient car Isn't that crazy it's bigger wider longer let's see so the model y uh long range we're going to do the long range to the dual motor model x so model model y long range 310 miles model x 325 miles model y is far more efficient than the model x delivering 122 miles per uh, electric volt versus uh 96 miles per electric volts i like saying electric per, per per kilowatt basically uh let's see here model y costs less to charge per mile give more range for their energy and it feels closer to a sedan in efficiency you're paying for size space and luxury but efficiency takes a hit you'll visit superchargers more often on long trips compared to the model y unless you need the x's room and towing, towing capability then you shouldn't get the model x over the model y okay so me personally i don't need at all i don't need more space now one day i might need more space but as of right now i don't need more space the model y is exactly what i need so um when i need more than that i might just get the model y l when it's on sale not when it first comes out i promise you that probably gonna have some panel gaps yada 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 for me it's like I get why people like the Model Y. I'm not Model Y, Model X. I like the doors. It was impressive. But it's something that I can get over like immediately. Like I rented the car for two days. On the second day, it was like I put on the I put up the, the door to try and get my son in. The next door neighbor is staring at me like, hey man, what's up, bro? I'm like, bro, it's just a rent a car. It's just a rent a car, bro. I feel like a, per a famous person who had the paparazzi come chase him down. Hey man, not today, not right now. I feel like Kanye for a second there, you know? I had to move from that spot. We're all, we're all clogged up and then they needed more spots, I thought. But I looked on the other side and there's plenty of spots. But whatever, I, I don't like when people are waiting on me. You're not supposed to be sitting there anyways. You know, that's why they have the idling fee. But anyways, also, have you guys, has anyone tried the uh, auto shift? I, just, I did the auto shift and it's it's good it knows where i want to go for the most part it's only got one time wrong but whenever i'm pulled out of the spot i have to swipe it up anyways so i pull out of the spot crank the wheel all the way to this way and then i go to go the other way to go where i need to go and instead of putting it in drive it just continues to reverse and i have to physically put it up so i'm like i get it it's auto shift beta and I don't know, I just feel like they, they could definitely get that right immediately. How do you guys how do you, how do you guys take the Model Y being literally the worst in turning radius out of all the Teslas that is literally the worst one? The Model S and the Model Y have the exact same turning radius. So that so I'm kind of convinced that they took the wheel well design from the Model S to produce the Model Y. I think that's what they did. Is they're like, all right, cool, let's take the wheels off of the Model S and put it onto the Model Y, and then boom. And that's probably why you had the turning radius of the Model S. Hey, I, that, I learned something new with that, okay? 
Um, well, I do appreciate you guys for tuning in to yet another video from Yes to Tesla. If you guys have any questions, any statements, type them down below. If you are in the market to buy your own brand new or used Tesla, please use the link down below. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day.